Hi there, welcome to another video for Two Start Higher Level Maths. Today we're going to be starting a new chapter called Transformations. So transformations are about moving shapes, lines, or figures, or diagrams around. So either you move it from one point to another, or you might rotate it, or you might flip it, get a mirror image of it, or anything to do with symmetry. That's all in transformations. So you're transforming it from one place to another. The original figure you start off with is called the object. So you start with an object, and then once you move it, or rotate it, or do something to it, you get what's called the image. So the image is where it ends up. Just like if you're looking into a mirror, you are the object, and the image is what's appearing in the mirror. I've just taken this page straight out of your book because I think they explain it quite well. So the first thing we're going to look at in transformations is called translations. So translations are a type of transformations. A translation is a movement in a straight line. It may also be described as a sliding movement. The shape A on the left has been moved in the direction PQ and by a distance equal to the distance PQ. The translation PQ is written as PQ with an arrow over the top of it. So that means the translation that goes from P to Q. So if we look at this a bit closer, I'll get my ruler. You can see that the point P is after traveling up to Q. So I can draw that with my line there. Now, just knowing that much information, we can move the entire shape. Because all of the other points will go the same distance now, once I don't move my ruler. Okay, so the next point there is this one. And we can see that this, sorry, this one will go from there to there. The next corner will go from there to there. The corner at the bottom. And you can see how the entire shape is moving the same distance. It's all moving that same distance PQ, and it's going at the same slant as P to Q. So that's the only piece of information we need in order to move the entire shape and map it from the object onto the image. So I could continue doing that, and all those points would match up onto each other perfectly. Reading down here. The image of the given figure is found by moving four units to the right and three units up. Notice that the size and shape of the figure is unchanged. So one way of describing the translation will be here as previously with PQ, or another way will be saying, okay, well you take every point and you come out four and you go up three, and that will find its image. So for this dot up here, I'll come out four, one, two, three, four and up three, one, two, three, and it sits on its new position up there. The same with any of these, out, four, one, two, three, four, and up three, one, two, three, and it sits on its new image up there. Now if I was completing this, I wouldn't be putting in all of those little marks, I just simply have a dot where it began, and a dot where it finished up, and that shows its movement. So that could be described as moving four units to the right and three units up. Another way of describing it will be here, there's a line segment and it is moved under the translation T. The image is labeled A dash B dash. So they have a length of a line here. It is labeled T. So every point that line segment is moved T distance and in that slope. So you would get your ruler and you would get it parallel and you'd come along here and you'd move point B and then you'd keep it parallel and you'd come up and you'd move point A. And then once you have those two points moved up, you can just join them up to get your new image. And the image is called A dash B dash. So if A was the original point, A dash is the image. If B is the original point, B dash is the image. It's the way of labeling them. And the final part, the image of the triangle ABC under the translation from B to C 
is shown on the right. So we have A, B and C. And this triangle then gets moved by the translation B to C. So it's getting moved this length in that direction. So parallel to that line there. So B will get moved to where C is. So B dash sits on top of C. C will move the same distance as far as C dash. And A will move the distance BC up to A dash. So that'll move up to there. And we get our new triangle A dash, B dash, C dash. So translations, you're just moving the object. It's not rotating, it's not flipping. Everything just moves in a certain distance at a certain slope, certain angle. And that's going to be given to you either by a line, such as here by T, or by two points, so from B to C. That's translations. I hope you found that useful.